Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the garage. Happy New Year. I guess yeah. we should say Happy yeah. New Year to you guys. Um, it's been a bit of a hiatus of videos this year for whatnot, and it's shit time of year. There's no riding going on. It's cold Can't and swear. freezing. This early on. <laughs> Can't we swear. can. We can. We can. A lame swear. time. Time of year. <laughs> Very lame. Extremely lame. So, oh, but I know that. what we wanted to bring you is the bikes we're sort of excited about for next year because there's a load it's a good year. year for this for sorry this for this, this year. year if you're interested in 2024 and the bikes which are coming out then uh, you know what you've got to do yeah grab yourself a cup of tea sit down make relax. yourself comfortable or a budweiser it's my family just bring the one <laughs> Bring your own, it was. Just bring your own. Well, bring what your own. Get, get your own drink. I hate yeah. this studio. Well, There's no beer. True. There's a fridge there as well, and it's got it's got it's, nothing. Empty. it's got some brew dogs. Oh, in it. Okay. that's horrible. But anyway, Bruce only Bruce likes that. But you know you got to get yourself a drink, and uh, we'll see you after the intro. Chopsy, roll it. So what have we got, Chopsy? So I've laid out these bikes alphabetically. So there's no pre there's no order of preference what we're looking forward to the most. It's alphabetically. Okay. So start with BMW. So sort of glossing over Aprilia a little bit because of course they got their new 440 Why sporty bike. Over? It's so many bikes to get through. Oh, so I'm sort of I've condensed there's it. There's okay. not time to do it all. all right. So yeah, obviously the, the new uh, MV Stelvio and, yeah. and and the new 440. Is that, like, yeah, is that like good. an adventure bike? Yeah, it's yeah. like the um, it's like the uh, what's what's the other one called? Um, no, no, no. The, the uh, Motor Guzzi, the one we were going to do the ride is on. Is it which the V100? The V100. V100. It's like the V100, but a bit more touringy. I think it's okay. got some radar, but it looks right. very similar, and the riding position looks very similar. And it's the same engine. And it's the same engine. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're not going to talk about that. Even though we, <laughs> we just did. We did. <laughs> and we're running out of time. <laughs> and the Aprilia, we, we will talk about later, but not in this video. So starting with BMW, yep. and, so, and something which we did sort of touch on before is the new M1000XR. Yep. Now this is a bike I'm really, really I quite excited about. I saw I, it at the show. You didn't go to the show, no, did you, I didn't last go year? To the so show, I went to NEC no. and I saw it there, and it does look. Does it look good? The competition one, all the black. It was a black competition. Yeah, it yeah, looks really, yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. Looks exciting. I think it's going to be. Something very good, actually. Yeah. A good all-rounder. Yeah. It's going to be fast, comfortable. I mean, what's not to like, really, other than the price? I know. What's well, not well, to like? Well, I, I did a track day at Almeria last year yeah. with BMW, and there was a guy on an XR. I was on the S1000 RR, yeah. and he was so fast. And not the M. That was no, just, that's just that's the That's my point, yeah. yeah. And, and he, was, he was a good rider, Yeah, yeah. but I was having to really... Only on the straights, so I was sort of yeah. catching him. And so yeah. it, the bike's got a lot of natural sort of... And by the time you stick the 200 horsepower engine in it, carbon yeah. wheels, if you get the competition yeah. pack, it's going to yeah. be an absolute weapon. Man. I think it is. And, and, you know, we thought the uh, Pikes Peak was going to be the bike that sort of does everything, yeah. didn't we? But yeah. both We're, of us sort of a little bit disappointed, really, with that. Yeah, we? disappointed not because it wasn't good. It was it disappointing because it, it was good, but disappointed because it was... A little bit too easy, yeah. I felt, and a bit, I don't know, soulless, but and it, it didn't quite, it and wasn't engaging enough for me. And it's still that nearly 250 kilos as that well. That was the big problem. And when you're right on the that, side, it's that, a lot of weight that on was the, the tyre, isn't the it? The weight of it was, a, yeah. was very apparent. Yeah, yeah. When you started trying to hustle it, you really felt yeah. it struggling for grip on the tyres because the mass is just the there and there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, well, yeah. I think well, the XR, I think, yes, yeah, 220 kilos. That's so a good 30 kilos It's lighter, a big difference, so, isn't it? Yeah. It's a big difference. Yeah. And I think that sort of shift cam engine with all that horsepower is going to suit it very well. Yeah. And last year, I think it was last year when we had the M1000R. Yeah, both loved it, didn't we? Mm. <laughs> it's it, incredible, wasn't it? It was so, so, so good. good so. I would say one of the nicest handling bikes yeah. I've ridden in some time. Ballistically fast. The brakes were oh, incredible. Yeah. It was just, it sort of surprised yeah, me how yeah. good it was, actually. I really, really liked it. So if that's anything yeah. like it, the uh, XR is going to be And I think the XR actually looks a bit better than the, the single R. I wasn't, yeah. not really sold on the headlight on the no, single fair R. Enough. It doesn't, yeah, yeah. I know the wings, but I think the XR actually looks so better. So what's the prices then, very quickly, before we run well, out of time? So, so for the base version, the non-competition pack, it's 22,580. Yep. But the white one doesn't look no one as good as the black one, does it? So, but well, you, so you really need no, the competition you, pack. But you say that. Well, I've not seen the white one in the flesh. Uh, have you not? I've, yeah, I've not seen it in the flesh. I've only seen I've it only seen, Yeah, so the competition was at the NEC and yeah, it looked yeah. amazing, all dripping yeah, in carbon. Yeah. But I would like to reserve judgment yeah. because I think for 22580 for yeah. the base M1000XR, 
it's obviously quite a bit cheaper than the carbon version at the competition so pack at 20 cents. Five thousand yeah, pounds a lot of money, isn't it? It's a lot of money. So it's still going to be a great bike. And and again, I go back to the um, M thousand R. That was the base one we yeah. all had, wasn't it? And yeah. it was bloody good, wasn't it? Was it was bloody yeah, good. It was bloody so good. So it will be a bloody good bike. But you're just thinking, oh, but look at the. Will you always one. regret it? Yeah, but then one. I suppose you could satisfy yourself and go, well, I didn't get the S thousand R XR. I got the M. So <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, not it's not entry, is it? No, no, it's true. I know what you mean. Do you go all in and just throw financial caution to the wind? It's a lot of money now. I don't know if I could spend extra five grand, but but there's also there's not only is there the M, there's the the normal XR has also had a bit of the beef up, hasn't it? So that's yeah, now got another 20 horsepower, slight redesign. That's going to be a good bike anyway. Yeah, so the, ba the base one's going to be fantastic. And it would be nice, as a final comment, to have something that you literally could do everything on. I know. You could do a nice little bit of a tour, you could do day trips, you could just go out on Sunday, do a bit of scratching. Sounds good, And, and I know that would be amazing on track because the standard one's amazing on yeah. track. Because I'll, I'll yeah. put a bit of video on the screen because I was Very sat good. behind one going quick. So We are not BMW bike. salespeople, we are not. but we do like the sound of those. But we're doing not a bad job of it. No, exactly. <laughs> we should be. Let, let, let's move on then. So we next is BMW again for this year. R1300 GS. Yeah, so the R1300 There is one there. There actually, is one sat there. there. Yeah. I've already ridden it. It's, it's a brilliant bike, so we won't go too much no, into it. Everyone knows about that now, yeah, don't they? They do. It's a, bit, so it's a bit old news. The what? only thing we want to talk about is the fact that we are hoping to do an imminent comparison between yes. the 1250, the outgoing 1250, and the 1300. Exactly. That's what we're going to try yeah, and do, exactly. isn't it? And we're, we're trying to do that in the next few weeks. Yeah, we're going to work with Barnstorm and we'll get that set up in the next couple of weeks. So that'll, that'll be worth watching. Yep. And I'll uh, be interested to really see it because you, oh. you you had a GS for for five minutes, didn't you? I've had every bike. <laughs> so it goes without saying. It goes without saying. <laughs> I did, only for about five minutes. You didn't and, like and it. My, well, no, it wasn't that I didn't like it. I thought it was very good for what it was. That was a 1200 that you had, wasn't it? Not it was 1200, yeah, it wasn't yeah. 1250. I think my biggest gripe with the GS1200 that I had was probably the gearbox. Yeah. yeah? Um, I'm a bit of a rider that goes up and down the whole yeah, time. I like yeah, to yeah. use the gears for the way yeah. that I ride. And it's just a bit too yeah. you know, agricultural for me. But I've heard, and I'm not reading the 1300 yet, the gearbox on the new one is meant to be a lot better. It's a lot, it's not they perfect, but it's a lot better. It's it's a lot better. Lot. And that's what be interesting to jump in one back I think so. to see how much better is it. So, yeah, exactly. So that'll so be coming that'll soon. Be that'll yeah, be good. interesting. But yeah, that's it for the R1300. And just a final one on that, the price is 15990 for the new 1300 GS. That's but the, of course, that's the base, base model base. before you put all the extras and packs and everything else yeah, on it. Exactly. So it's exactly. probably a 20 grand bike, isn't it, in reality? If Yeah, I think that for was about 22. Is it really? the okay. Truman Tower one, whatever it's called. Yeah. Anyway. Good, moving on. Honda. So next on this we have Honda. So Honda have got a few few new ones this year actually. Quite yeah. quite exciting looking bikes. First of all, the CBR 600 RR is back. I think it's after three or four years it Which disappeared. Is good. Yep. Bit of an update. Mainly just a styling update, but it's got an IMU. It's got a TFT. Yep. You know, 119 horsepower, 193 kilos. Yep. I'm, I'm so glad that there's some 600s oh, yeah. coming yeah. back. And it looks, it looks really it looks good. That was really in the show as well, so I've seen it? that. Yeah, it looks and really £10, nice. And £10,499. I hate to say it, but actually it sounds like a yeah, reasonably does, good price, yeah. isn't it? It does, What yeah. a bike that's going to be yeah. for that sort of money. A few little mods, and actually, it's going to be all you need, really. It would. I'm interested to see what the riding position's like. Did you get a chance to show to see? Can you remember? Is I don't think I sat on it. I don't, no. Yeah, I don't think I sat on it. But I think it's going to be quite racy. But I would say probably less so than the new blade. Yeah. Even yeah. though they've changed the blade again yeah, to be a little bit changed. more yeah, road oriented, yeah, we'll come yeah. on to that. Yeah. But I think it'll be less extreme than that. So yeah. it'll be good. So you've got that, and while we're talking about that, Mel's just mentioned Kawasaki ZX6R yep. back as well, isn't it? Which we have spoke about a little bit before. And it's, and it's now rod by wire. I was going to say because they've got quick shifter blipper on it. Perfect. And stuff. You could only have the quick yeah, shift and yeah, not the blipper exactly. because it was yeah, always cable, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's had an update. And the price difference, I think they're almost exactly the same price. It was 10599 for the ZX6R yeah. and 10499. So the CBR is actually a little bit cheaper. A little bit cheaper. But bit cheaper. Um, they actually stopped the 6R, didn't they? The, the, the yeah. Kawasaki for a year or two yeah. because they couldn't meet the emissions. So, so I'm, I'm really yeah, glad they brought that. So I thought the 600 class, class was dead. I know. And it's, it's back. And talking of 600, there is another one that's just come out. The new, uh, we're skipping through these a bit. You're, now, you're jumping, order. you're jumping, we've missed some <laughs> we're, out. We're, we're, we're calm down, stop, we're stop, settled stop. down. Let's put that back, to, back, back, back to Honda. <laughs> so Fireblade, new Fireblade. Well, yeah. not new Fireblade, updated Fireblade. Yeah. Yeah. So best part of £20,000. Yeah. It's Different ratio gearbox. Yeah, gear yeah. and change. Yeah. Tweaks to the riding position. They said they've made it slightly more road biased. Road, road biased. Because um, okay. that was the main issue with that bike. It was Too very much. wristy, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah. It was mainly a race bike. You know, even even Honda themselves says, you know, it's for competition now. And it, yeah. so they've made some slight changes. So I'm really interested to yeah. to try that. So, but yeah, it's a dear bike. It's a twenty grand bike. So. It, is, it is dear, but it's going to be. And 
cost in my mind back to when we had the new one when we did a comparison against that and the RSV4. Yeah, RSV4, wasn't it? Yeah. The Fire Fireblade. I remember the footage that I've seen relatively recently. It sounded yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's stock such form. a smooth, beautiful well. sounding bike. Yeah. yeah, they've done a really nice job with that. Yeah, so no, I, I, love, like I love the, the looks of it as well. I, I think it I looks do. fantastic. The big long belly pan. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it, done it nice looks, job with that. Yeah, good have, quality. Yeah. So looking forward to uh, riding. So that. then the final Honda is the CB1100. Tell me CB1000. Oh, CB1000. I'm sorry, sorry, but I didn't have my goggles on. That's right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It is a thousand. There's, so, not, there's not too much info about it yet. They've sort of announced it's coming. It was at ICMA. I don't know if it was at Motorcycle Live. Did you see it at Motorcycle Live? I honestly can't recall, no. to be honest. Is well, that replacing the one that we did a well, review of last not. year? Well, That's still on. They're still, I don't think they're sure whether that's going to be dropped or not. Because, okay. because this new CB isn't on the Honda website yet. There's no price for it. There's no okay. exact spec. They're just saying it's going to be more than... Uh, what are they saying? It's going to be more than 147 horsepower. Yeah. And am I right in saying that the one that... The outgoing model now... That was a bit retro looking. Yeah, Can I call exactly. it? Is, it gonna, is it going to have that neo cap? No, the, yeah, the, the, this is more like the CB Hornet. So, so it's more that, of a road bike yeah, looking thing. More road bike. Yeah. It's a bit, bit um, Ducati Street Fighter ish, like yeah. the front yeah. headlight and stuff. We might like be talking well. riddles here, but <laughs> we hope you know what we mean. I could, I could, yeah. I could just to remind you, actually, do I have it on my screen here? There it is. Oh, that's it. Okay. There it is. We and need to flash that up somehow. Yeah, there'll be pictures. There'll be pictures yeah, of the okay, so that, I know what you mean. It's like yeah, yeah, Hornet yeah. of old looking yeah, normal. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's, I think it's going to be reasonably cheap because so I think it's sort of built to a bit of a budget. So Fair I don't enough. think it's going to be a really expensive bike. I think it's going to be affordable. Good. So that's B done and H done for Honda. We're now K Kawasaki. We've already talked about the ZX6R. Yep. Don't need to talk about that again. But good news. It's now rod by wire. Blipper, quick shifter, happy days. ZXR, sorry, ZX4RR. Yeah. Which is the new four cylinder 400 screamer. Screamer, screamer. 15,000 15, RPM. Red RPM. <laughs> Don't knock it. I had a four, of course I had one. I had a 400 back in the day and effed it off. The Yamaha effed it off 400, which you broke the subframe off. Um, I don't know why. I uh, know, I was accelerating too quickly. Too fast, too But good. 78 horsepower. 78 horsepower, only 39 new meters of torque, which is you know, to be expected with a, just to, so heavy, It's going to be it? a bike you're going to have end. to work the gearbox. It. You're going to have to engage it. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. Oh, it'll be brilliant fun. Yeah, exactly. So that's 78 horsepower. Yeah. Um, and the app uh, costs 8699, 188 yeah. kilos, fully fueled. So, you know, re reasonable, reasonable weight light, as well. So, that's light. another one of those new sort of middleweight Good. sports bikes coming in. Yep. So, yeah, exciting times. So, that's it on the Kawasaki front. Then we're moving now, if you don't mind, on to KTM, KTM. briefly. I'm feeling a little bit grumpy with KTM today, <laughs> but I won't explain why. We'll talk about that one. The, 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 yeah, not another time. <laughs> So we've already done a bit of a discussion and a launch on the new 990 Duke, haven't yeah, we? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, so if you want to coming. see that, I'll link at the top to the video on the 990. I'm oh, actually going on the launch. Is that way? It's always opposite way to what you think it is. Is it? What? There or there. One, one of the two. But yeah, I'm going to the launch on that next month. So that'll nice. be good. That's Where's that? Al Maria, that's in south of Spain. Is it track then? Not for the 990. No, I think okay. the 990 is a road ride, and then it's the 1390, which come on to a minute, is going to be on track. So oh, okay. yeah, so it's going to be not 990 Duke. Um, there's a video at the top yeah. where we talk a bit more about that, so we won't go through all the details of that. But again, looks really exciting, great bike. And then, of course, the 1390, the big boy. Super Duke. The big boy. We didn't even get to do a video on this. We wanted to do a, a video, but we never did. So okay. this is the first time we're really sort of talking about this. So going back to the Super Duke, so there's the base bike is 17999. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised because I thought they were going to just have one bike. I thought they wouldn't do a base and an Evo. Just have the Evo. I thought they just have an Evo, just have an electronic suspended yeah. version, but but they're, they're continuing with the with the standard. Well, it makes sense. It gives you a cheaper, a cheaper 1500 option, pound difference. So 19599 yeah. for the Evo, which is exactly the same bike with electronic suspension. Probably yeah. even the same colour, isn't it? Yeah, 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 I think they I think yeah. the colours are the same. 190 well. claimed uh, horsepower, yeah. um, 200 kg dry. Yeah. And 145 newton meters of torque, so plenty it's of so, torque. So I think it's, cause it's got like a shift cam type yeah. arrangement in there, hasn't it? Yeah. So it's another 10 horsepower yeah. and a little bit more. I think 140 odd, wasn't it? So it's another yeah. 5 newton meters of torque. Yeah. No, it's good. Probably similar weight, yeah. you know, but I think that oh, I'm really quite excited about no, that. No, it'd be good. So there will be a launch video of that. because that, Is that, that the, the same trip then? The 990 the trip, trip and yeah, the Super they're Duke. combining that. No. And the 390 Duke as well is combined right. as well. Okay. But yeah, the, the, the Super Duke's going to be, I think, a road ride plus half a day or circuit in Amory as well. So very nice. To test out my new leathers, which have turned up, by the way, which are yeah, out there. Very nice. Okay, so that's it for KTM. So Suzuki, which we've also touched on already. We have, at, yeah. the, uh, at the official launch day, GSX-S 1000 GX, GX, which is the yeah. new 
touring version, taller bike of the GT. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So straight cylinder four, a thousand cc K5 GSXR engine, retuned, detuned, whatever. Looks good. You ridden it? Yeah, yeah. I was at the launch. So we've ridden yeah. that. So there's a, I'll put a link to the video to the yeah. To my, to my launch video. So yeah, that that, that was good. And Zuki said I might be getting a long termer of that to have a oh, play nice. around with for this season. So nice. I know they're different bikes, happens. but you've got the BMW GS here. And yeah. You've been riding that recently. Just off the top of your head, do you think that the GS is I, I, nicer I, on the road I, to the yeah, GX? You I know what, it, what you're thinking. It's completely different. Really? I would say. Yeah. The so GS you can't is, even compare it. I'd say the GS is definitely probably more comfort. Really? It's, it's, it's a little yeah. bit tight in the leg on the GX. I okay. think the GX is like the, the Tracer 9, for example, yeah, is probably okay. a good. And I'm actually picking one up next week. So the I'll do the Tracer 9 GT Plus. Right. There's a video coming and out soon. And they're going to be really, really good, aren't they? I think that's yeah. going to... Because yeah. I, I love that MT-09 SP. Yeah. I really love that, that, that CP3 motor. You know, that yeah. is yeah. so... so did, you, did you ride it, did you? No, no but you... I'm, I'm pleased that they've all got those sort of bikes, though, because the better they get, they all have to compete. They all yeah, get better. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. It's, a, it's good, isn't it? It's a great choice. I think that trace is going to be very, yeah. very good, though. No, very, no, it's very, very nice. So, yeah, next week... I'll, I'll, all we'll, right. We'll have to sort something out. Well, if, 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 if Suzuki do come through with the GX, they said it'll probably be January time, so I'm sort of almost awaiting yeah, a call. Good. So the plan was to maybe do the GX versus the Tracer while I got the yeah, Tracer, yeah, yeah. but okay. it's well, probably the good, not the good news is there's limited room here, so I'm hoping someone will <laughs> head, in <laughs> <my direction>. way. <laughs> head in my direction. Could well do, could well do. Exactly. And then the other new news-ish on the Suzuki front is the G, uh, GS8R. G, 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 GS, yeah, GS8. GS8. There's, there's an X missed in there. It's a GSX8R, it's is a it? It's a GSX8R. All oh, right, yeah, okay, yeah. which is the new sort of fully fed, sort of half sports bike looking yeah, parallel yeah, twin yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to complement the GSX 8S, exactly. which we did do a review of in a comparison against the KTM 790 Duke we last did. year, didn't we? we? Did indeed, and yeah. we were both very impressed with that. Well, I was very yeah, impressed with the Suzuki. You know that GSX 8R is going to be... It's going to be good, it's going to be a good bike. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It's sort of predictable. It's everything you'd expect. It's just easy to live with, but easy in a good way, yeah, I exactly. would say. So, so, that's eight. so that sort of competes really because not so much the... Not like the CBR 600 or the ZX6R. It's a sort of a different. It's a parallel twin. It's a different, totally different sort thing. of class to those. It is, yeah. But moving on to the Triumph, because Ooh. there is actually a couple of days ago, it was announced they brought back the Daytona, not yeah. not the full Daytona. Yeah. This is based on the Trident 660. 660. It's still a triple, though, yeah. It's still a triple, and I yeah. think that is why it's going to be great. And it's not just yeah. the Trident. They've upped it to 95 horsepower, so they've like looked to 15 horsepower it's increase. A lot more. They've done a bit of tuning. They've done a lot of engine work on it. Yeah. And that is actually, well, that's 15 horsepower more than the 8R yeah. now. Yeah. So, and being a triple, you know, it's going to have a lot of torque and it's going to rev out the top bit more as well. Yeah. Just that um, little bit smoother, different thing, really, isn't it? Could, it is. Could, could argue the best of all worlds, a triple. You, you could, it? yeah. And yeah. they've actually <laughs> undercut the Suzuki for 100 quid as well. No, even more than that. It's 8595 at Daytona and the 8R is 8899. Yeah. So they've actually undercut it on price. Pretty depressing for Suzuki, that, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? I, think. I would think. Yeah, and so and, that, yeah. And the pictures of the new Daytona. Um, it looks good, yeah. Nice, it, it? Looks it looks good. It, it looks look good, good, yeah. And yeah. it's the same style, you know. The, the bars clip-ons, but above the yoke, so yeah. a bit more comfortable. Yeah, um, a bit like the RS660 as well. Yeah, just what you want. Yeah, so I think we definitely need to do a comparison between definitely. the RS660, that new Daytona, yeah. and probably the 8R. Yeah, I and think I'm sure so. there's one I'm missing there as well in, in that in that lineup potentially. You, I guess you could find the R7, but I guess the R the R7s a little bit. It's similar, isn't it? But it's similar. Sim, but it's, I guess that's, that's, that's very below that, the that, that, yeah. That's going to be much more extreme, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But those three are all very similar to each other, similar price. So we, we, no, I think we definitely have to do yeah. do a comparison of those. And then moving through the alphabet, then to Yamaha now. Yamaha. So XSR. 900 GP. GP. Have you so, seen that? Have you seen no, the pictures I of that? Honestly, Have you not I seen it? Oh, I don't. Don't. Let me I've show been the under picture. a rock you've, for the last few weeks. You've got to see. Show me. I, what I love does this that thing. Look? Uh, sports. So, so while you're looking at the pictures, 12,500 pounds, 117 horsepower, 93 newton meters of torque, and 200 kg wet. So it sounds like it's going to be fun, I would say. Oh, yeah, that's a bit is like nice. an old Marlboro coloured. Yeah, yeah, that's um, nice, isn't it? Yeah. You know, actually, now that you've put the pictures up, I think I did see that. I think it was at the show. Actually, yeah, it, yeah, it, it was. It, it was at the show. Uh, it was yeah. at the show. That is nice, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I like that retro sure. look. So say like an old RD, doesn't it? Yeah, and you can get the full fare. Yeah, in that is nice. Uh, I like uh, that. As an so that is the XSR, yeah. but with this sort of GP. Yeah. 
But the XSR normally is a slightly retro looking. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. So that's that's a bit like that RD500 looking like. Yeah, so they, they've brought, yeah. Yamaha they've finally decided. brought out their own well, Actually, someone's got a great idea. Let's do it for ourselves. Yeah, exactly. No, good. But I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. It's almost got like the old TZR250 bolt on. Yeah, that's I'm good. The old TZR250. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think almost exactly the same as that. Yeah. Do you think you'll be able to get your hands on oh, that? Oh, yeah, definitely. I've already spoke yeah. to Yamaha about it. I want to ride that. No, that looks good. But yeah, that looks really good, doesn't it? And then final news is MT09. Yeah. M209 so had a bit, another have you seen pictures bit of work. that? Um, oh, of I've, course I've, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure that, hang on, I'll figure that. I rode the M209 SP in the last year. Again, you, you, you yeah. didn't, you didn't, you, no, I, I got to was going I, I, on, yeah, we, yeah. We, you didn't ride it. that. You loved it though, yeah? I absolutely loved it. So yeah. much so, you even think, well, I'm one of these. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that. They look very nice. Yeah. I think they're the best looking Yamaha I think they look yeah, nice in the MT10. Yeah, I, I, it, it just looks right, I think, but I, particularly I, the SP version, I, it, it I, looks really nice. I would agree, I would agree. So well, I've not ridden one. Hyper naked. Come on, then. what's going on? Sorry, it's a dodgy is it, is it? What's the difference then? It will load Is it just there. a facelift? It's, it's, a, it's a facelift, it's a new That's TFT. MT10, oh, sorry. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> do, do, do. So it's not got that sort of uh, sight, but it has got this sort of light in the middle of the cluster, which I'm not too sure about, but these little running lights look quite That's nice. Right. And they've changed the back end, so it's not, it's got like a separate unit. Now it's not just one big seat that goes right. across the back. Yeah. So it's a bit more sporty at the rear with yeah. a separate sort of cowl at the back. That's good. So but it, can... it does, it does look better. Yeah, it, nice. it does look better. And... Uh, that looks good. Yeah. So that, that, Arguably a lot of bike for 11.8. It's gone up quite a bit though. Has it? Yeah, I think there's a bit of a bit of a hike in price. Cost of living but, crisis, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah. Brought to you here for the first time on Lamb Chops Rides. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it goes. But it has got Brembo calipers now. Has it? That's, yeah. that's good. That's yeah. nice. Not Stylemas, are they? Uh, I don't know, actually. No, that's like the M50s. M50. That's good yeah, enough, isn't it? M50s, yeah. yeah. And they've got the uh, full Odin's adjustable preload, shock. adjustable rear shock, you know, with the remote preload. Um, yeah, that back end does look a lot better. It looks it, a lot better, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like you that. You look at that, that. Tidy all that up. Yeah, because you think it's yeah. just a big seat came across the whole back. Yeah. So the whole, yeah. like the MT10 yeah. is the same. Yeah. This is a bit like, mm. Yeah, that's the one thing about the MT10 I don't like. The back, yeah. the back end lets it down. It's too low, too yeah. long. Well, at the so. next revamp, they may, or they probably will do that same with similar. the separate yeah. tail, yeah. you know? Yeah, good. So, yeah, so the, uh, it looks good. I mean, uh, it's such a good bike. It's yeah. such a good bike. And I think it's yeah. only, only going to get better now. So, good. Well, so hey. our New Year's resolution is to do as many comparisons and reviews of as much thing, as yeah. many things as we can and really try and get we, amongst it this well, year. Well, we did quite a lot last year, didn't wasn't we? wasn't too bad last year. Yeah. It's certainly better than the year before. Yeah, we did do any year before. <laughs> and I'm on a mission to try and get involved as yeah, much as no, I can. Yeah, absolutely. So, it should be, it should so be good. we'll start with the, with the GS yeah. and then probably with the Tracer and the GX and Suzuki, yeah. if, if, if Suzuki comes. I think they're getting them in anyway. So even if I don't get a long term, I'll be able to borrow one. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's all those new 600 class stuff. Good. You know, I think there's a lot. There's yeah. a lot to do. Yeah, um, be good. reviews and there's a you know, busy last schedule. winter we did the Goldwing versus. I know. The I thought that. A1600, yeah, that came out. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's frost and everything, it was wasn't it? So so cold, wasn't it? So, so we've been a bit wimpy this year that we yeah, haven't done anything yet. If we do something, we need some big, <laughs> something big and comfortable with lots of electronic heating. GS. <laughs> there yeah, you go. Sorted. No, exactly. Heated seat, heated grips. No, that's good. Perfect job. Sorted. Perfect job. So before before we go. I've got a little giveaway to do though. So my sure channel sponsor, <laughs> <laughs> my channel sponsors, Ultimate Add-ons, are giving away a set of their heated grips. Very apt. Now these heated grips actually look really good. I might see if I can get a pair for the Hyper Motard actually. Really yeah, nice. Because Hyper Motard engine over there, by the way, everyone. But they've got a separate button on the grips to turn them on and off. You haven't got like a different module. Like yeah. I hate those Oxford ones. And you, you know the grips may be brilliant, but you've got a, got another T. You've got a massive box like that. I can't stand it. I hate them so much. So I think I'd rather have gold hands. So these have just got a little like button yeah, nice. to turn them on. Is it? That's like a proper factory fit. Yeah, then, it's, like it, a, it's like a factory. They yeah, look factory nice. fit, and they automatically turn off. So they detect when your battery. So when you turn your bike off and the battery voltage drops, they automatically so turn yeah, off. Don't away about flattening your battery. Yeah. So there's a pair of those to yep. give away. Also, um, some helmet and visor wipes and one of their balaclavas for winter riding as well. So if you're interested in this little little stash here. Is it is, is one lucky winner going to get all three? One lucky winner is going to get all, all three. three boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they have to do then? What they have to do is leave a comment in this video and say why you deserve one of these and then we'll choose which Best answer we like. Something funny, obviously. We don't have any sob stories about your mum's died. <laughs> well, maybe we do. Yeah. Depends yeah, that's how just funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
So let us down uh, the comments. You, you got them in the UK because I'm afraid I'm, I'm not. I'm not posted. I've got to pay for the postage, so I'm not posting them overseas. I'm afraid. So UK based. Cost of living crisis. Cost of living crisis. It, it's hit us. It's hit us. I'm turning the heating down a bit. Yes. As well. <laughs> so yeah, if you're interested, leave a comment in the video comment section of why you deserve these. Very good. <laughs> and make it amusing, and we'll choose the winner next time we're we're in the garage together. Fantastic. So, but if you don't want to wait, if you want to get, because you know winter could be over by the time we get around to doing that. No, we'll do it soon. So if you look on their website, I've got to get you, yeah, I think it's 10% off on all Ultimate add-on stuff, so I'll link to them below. If you want to get yourself a set, these are actually the best aftermarket heated grips I've seen. Oh, Providing they actually warm up, because I've not tested them, Providing no, they actually yeah. warm your hands, yeah. from looks and the functionality, I think they're the best ones on the market. So, uh, links below, go and check it out. Very good. Anything else you want to say? No, I don't think so. I just look forward to doing the GS1250 versus yeah. the 1300. I think let's get on, get that yeah, organised. Get, that and get it out, out. Yeah. Get, it, get it done, get it sorted. Because it's always nice to do an actual bit of riding, have a little bit of a laugh. You get a bit rusty as well, don't you? Yeah, it'd be good. And yeah. you know, these are good, aren't they? But I don't want to bore all your viewers just with us chatting. They probably want to see a bit of action, don't they? <laughs> right, a bit of bike brilliant. action. <laughs> Well, thanks so much, you guys, as always. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, there's a lot of people, I think it's about 80% of people who watch your videos don't subscribe. Really? So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, why not put that little subscribe button? out on so such on your amazing entertainment. You don't, don't get, you don't get, you've got to be subscribed as well to get these, by the way. I'm just putting exactly. that in there as well. <laughs> so, but if you want to see more of these, we'll do a few more of these chats. There's other stuff to talk about, and we're going to get out riding. So Brilliant. if that sounds of interest, you know what you've got to do. Enjoy. Subscribe. Enjoy. Very good. We'll see you later. See you later.